up until last year, I was using a traditional textbook. The textbook publisher decided to raise the price because they wanted to sell a bigger, more expensive one. And so I threw out the textbook. And it was that dramatic whether it's in American history or European or world history, there's always one voice. And that voice tends to be the dominant voice in society. So in American history, it's the people who won the wars, the battles, and so forth. I spent a couple of months curating a list of digital collections from all over the country, from the Library of Congress, from museums, from the Smithsonian. Everything has something that they've now digitized and put up there that students can use. What's different about these course materials is that we have a book that's filled with a mix of primary sources and articles that give multiple voices and multiple perspectives on the history that we're studying. And when I use a traditional textbook, oftentimes the definitions are there, or you read about the argument that somebody else has already come up with for you to just memorize and move on from. But utilizing the primary source documents really taught me how to excavate those answers for myself and that maybe there is more than one argument that's valid, but you've got to learn to support it. We are preparing the students to have critical analysis when they approach a source. And that's what you want. You don't want the students to repeat what they see. You want them to analyze and to get to that conclusion. Not only did I learn more, but I also retained a lot more. And I remember a lot more of the content than I do from the classes that still have the traditional textbook. And so to throw out the textbook was an invitation to them to think about how the different voices in America's past can help us to construct a fuller and truer picture.